Okay, so I'm starting off by showing you guys this lipstick, and this is Blushing Beige. This is my ultimate favorite nude lipstick for the winter time, just because right now I am way too dark for it. So I usually start wearing this one around October, once my tan is completely done. But if you guys didn't get any tan this summer, um, which I which totally okay, um, then this is really really nice. This is a really light color, so you have to be very careful. Um, this collection, you see how light that is? This collection has many different shades. This is the second lightest one, or the third lightest one, I believe. And then it works its way up, so it could... So basically, the, the point of this collection was to create a whole line of nudes for um, all different types of skin colors. So you guys should definitely go check um, Maybelline out. Uh, they always have these in Ulta for buy one, get one, 50% off, so that's really good. So, And I believe this is like $5. Five, $5 or six dollars in target as well just in case if you guys don't live around in Ulta there's like targets everywhere so yeah now for the summertime um I've been wearing this, this is velvet teddy my friend Bianca recommended it to me and I'm so glad she did because it's honestly just a really really nice color and I'm sorry if I'm changing like colors or something or like it looks weird because the sun keeps coming in and out so yeah and this is velvet teddy it's by MAC and do you guys see the big difference like that's like really light and then it's just yeah but um honestly this color looks um, lighter on your lips so it doesn't look as dark as it does on the tube like when I first saw it and um, she recommended it to me I was like mm, maybe not because it looks sort of I mean in my eye it looks sort of brownish like a very light brown and I was just like mm -mm, I hate brown so I was like no but um then she explained to me like that it's not really brown it's like a nude it's a really nice nude and I was like okay great so I bought a next one is snob I'm actually wearing snob right now um snob is just perfect for like I said when you are not going to put any makeup on and you just want to look awake and you want to look just not dead like honestly just not dead um and yeah this is just an awesome it's such a pretty pink I love it so much and the fact that it's it's a satin finish um just makes it so much better because um it just feels really just moisturizing on your lips it looks so so nice and i feel like snob is a type of color that goes to a lot of different skin colors so yeah oh and just for future reference guys i am an nc25 in mac and i have yellow undertones so just in case you guys um think have think you guys have a similar skin color to me next is cream cup now this is perfect for somebody who is um i believe it's perfect for somebody who's just starting off doing makeup or is just starting to put on makeup just because um, it's just a really natural pink. So yeah. Because some people look at snob and are afraid and I kind of was when I first saw it but um, it's a really nice color besides that. And you see it's just lighter. I feel like it's sort of um, in the pink family but just lighter obviously as you can tell. And um, my only concern with this lipstick is that you guys definitely have to be careful and make sure you moisturize your lips before you apply this product just because it is a cream sheen, uh, cream sheen finish and that is definitely going to show if you have any tappiness going on in your lips, any, you know, any, the smallest fine lines it's going to show. So you definitely have to moisturize really, really well or even um, buy, they have like lip, like, uh, lip, um, lip scrubs from like a, a whole bunch of stores sell them so you guys could totally find them um, I know Lush makes really good ones so you guys definitely have to do that um, or exfoliate I know some people who like to exfoliate their lips um, totally have to do that just because um, like I said it's going to show all like everything that's on your lips it's going to show um, but yeah it's a really nice color besides that so just be careful that's about it so one, another one of my favorites is Pink Pow um, I've heard a lot of people say this is a dupe to snob. Um, I find it to be a little bit more purple toned, so I wouldn't exactly say it's 100% the dupe. It's very similar, but not 100%. And I'm almost, I'm not almost out. I am out, so I need to go get a new one in uh, Ulta. So, you see, it, this one's definitely more pinkier, or more purple toned. It's still a really nice color. I, as you guys can tell, I use this lipstick so such a great lipstick, so moist, super moisturizing, and it's in a matte finish by Revlon. 
Honestly, Revlon makes some of the best drugstore lipsticks I've ever, ever tried. Besides, um, you know, maybe Wet n Wild, but I feel like Revlon does a better job uh, at creating more color to choose from, so... Yeah, but I'm definitely I'm gonna show you guys some Wet n Wild lipsticks just because they're really they're really inexpensive and they they're just worth the two dollars. Like it's not it's you can't go wrong with them. And the next one I'm going to show you guys is Flat Out Fabulous. And this is what it looks like. It's a really hot pink as you guys could tell. Um, but it's a really nice hot pink. It doesn't look crazy or anything like that. Um, it's just it just it has it's really nice and it's in a matte it's in a retro matte finish I'm sorry um, and just to give you guys some pointers out about retro mattes if um, you guys don't like matte lipsticks um, from Mac for some reason I know some people who dislike it because it's very drying these are the retro mattes which is basically the best of both worlds because you get the matte look without the dryness um, to me, there's only one matte lipstick that gives me a lot of dryness that I honestly dislike so much, but I love the color. Um, and I'll show you guys it. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys later on in the video. But this is, um, like I said, a retro matte. Retro mattes from Mac are just so awesome. They work so well with your lips. They look really, really nice. So you guys should definitely check out. I believe there's four or five other shades, but this one's a really nice color for when you are bold and you want to look just. You want to stand out from the crowd because it's honestly, like I said, it's a really nice hot pink. So yeah. Next, this is Berry Hout. Berry Hout is such a nice color. It is amazing. Um, this is a swatch. This is perfect for somebody who I want to say is sort of getting into makeup right now. I feel like a beginner wouldn't wouldn't want to put this on maybe a little bit too much or I don't know but honestly it's a really nice color you guys should definitely check it out and it is in a cream finish I love um, the cream finishes from Revlon because they don't look super um, like they don't look super like I've tried MAC lipsticks that are in a cream finish and they look like you have lip gloss over it and that's not what you get on this this is you just get this color without like without it looking um like i said without it looking like you put lip gloss on top of it a lot of people get confused when they hear cream they think that it's going to just look really shiny that's not what you get you just get the color and that's it and i believe they call it cream because it honestly feels really creamy on your lips but like i said you don't get a sloppy slimy look from it next one this is a uh, treasure this is honestly <laughs> Um, my friend Chanel, I'm actually going to tag her YouTube below. Um, you guys should check her out. She uh, showed this lipstick to me. Uh, she had it on and I was just like, oh my god, Chanel, like, what color is that? I've never seen anything like it before. Um, and it's lavender tint. And this is by, an, I've never heard of this brand. It's called NK. And I asked her, like, where they sell it? Because, like I said, I've never heard of it. I've never seen it in a drugstore before. And she said that, um, at first, like, I thought it was NYX or something because it looks kind of similar. But I was like, NYX doesn't make that packaging, though. Um, but no, she said it was NK and that she purchased it around, like, a local 99 cent store. And I was like, okay. So I went to my local 99 cent store. And next thing you know, I realized they have an NK brand. And I was like, oh, crap, that's the same one. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just swatch this for you guys. It's the most beautiful color I've ever seen. The pigmentation on it is crazy. Like, just look at that intensity. And like I said, it's only one dollar. Um, again, I don't, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. Maybe you don't feel as comfortable, but um, definitely, definitely a really nice color. If you, like, again, I said, um, some people are just more comfortable with different colors. Like, I wouldn't mind wearing this, but other people would. Um, so yeah it all depends on the person but a really nice color and very moisturizing and um if you guys check this brand out uh let me know in like a message or something let me know if you guys tried other colors i've never tried another color just because i just i just never went back um but let me know if you guys did uh the next one is spotlight red this is i'm going to show you guys with uh ruby woo because i've heard so many youtubers um rave about how this is the dupe for uh, like I said, Ruby Woo, and my opinion is that it's very close. Um, it's just not 100% the dupe, but it could very much be the dupe just by just by following a simple step. 
Um, so yeah, so let me just swatch them for you guys. So this is what Ruby Woo looks like. Just a really, really beautiful red. Um, perfect. And then you have um, Spotlight Red by Wet n Wild. So to me, it almost seems as though Spotlight Red is just, it's very close in color. Um, it just looks a little bit less. It, like the intensity of the redness is less. Um, and it's in it's not in a matte finish but you could easily change that but just applying it um, sort of lightly don't don't do a heavy hand on it apply it lightly on your lips and then you grab a paper towel and just put it in the middle and then just go and then that's it you're gonna get a matte finish with this so if you guys honestly don't want to splurge on Ruby Woo um, I totally understand um, my boyfriend actually got me Ruby Woo so you know um, but if you guys don't want to splurge, this is definitely a great alternative. And the only thing with Ruby Woo, and that, that which is sort of a reason why I like to use these together sometimes, or I just like to use Spotlight Red, um, it all depends on the occasion that I'm going to. The thing is with Ruby Woo for my lips, I don't know if this happens to any of you guys, um, but I apply it and then it looks really nice. And then an hour or so, I check, I always check up on my makeup every hour, every half, every hour and a half. And I start to notice that it's really fading in the middle of my lips. And it looks really nasty because there's red here, red here, and then it's just really, really light red. So I have to reapply it. I believe that's because of the of, of the fact that it's a matte finish. Um, and it's it does feel dry. And you have to definitely 100% um, moisturize before you put this on. Definitely. Um, but yeah, if you're not going to be super busy and you are going to be able to check up on your lipstick and reapply or just moisturize a little bit and then reapply, then yeah, I definitely recommend this color. It's a beautiful, beautiful red. Um, yeah. And this is actually one of my first lipsticks that I purchased when I first started doing makeup. I fell in love with this lipstick about five months after I bought it. Um, the reason is because when I first started doing makeup, I was not bold or daring enough to wear a red. I felt like I looked silly. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable. And I, I guess that comes along with learning how to do your makeup. Um, honestly, I feel like it's all a learning process. Everybody could learn. Um, I remember when I was a freshman, I used to wear like pink eyeshadow like just all over without ever creating a crease color or an or an outer uh, color or anything like that. I would just put on pink eyeshadow um, and yeah, and I probably look crazy. And the thing is though that at that time I didn't know, um, I honestly didn't even know about YouTube videos. Um, and it all just all about a process of learning, that's it. And I feel like anybody can learn as long as you give it time and dedication. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is one of the first colors that I purchased when I first started doing makeup, which is, I want to say, a year, year and a half ago. And it is cherry picking. And this is the nicest red that goes to my skin color, I believe. And this is perfect for somebody who, like I said, that's the color. This is perfect for somebody who is just starting off with makeup and they do want to wear a red, but they don't want the intensity of like a ruby woo or a spotlight red. This is perfect because it has some berry undertone. It's not 100% red. So yeah, so it looks, it's really nice for a person who, like I said, is just starting off with makeup and they don't want to throw themselves right into a bold, bold red. So yeah. And my last color, and this is for just, this is honestly per per perfect for any season. I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say that, um, that it's only for the fall or winter time, um, but I don't believe so. I wore this color about last week. I went on a date and, um... It's just a really nice color when you're tan or when, it doesn't matter. I feel like it's an all year round color. Maybe not so much spring because you're kind of like weird. Because you're kind of like light and then you're kind of getting a little bit tan. But I feel like it's perfect if you're just really tan and just really glowing. Or if it's the fall or winter time when everybody's just like their natural skin color. So, And that's what it is. That's the swatch. And this is Diva. I love this lipstick. It's in a matte finish. Um, hey guys, 